Blessings, beloved. I am Mama Pam, a.k.a. Pamela Dobson, and I do read the Word of God, beloved, seven minutes every day, so you do not have to read. Today's read is for Monday, Monday, May the 5th, May the 5th, May the 18th, 2020. May the 18th, 2020, we'll be resuming our read from Ephesians, um, reading from the King James Version of the Word of God, and it reads, time is set, and it reads, children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee and thou mayest live long on the earth. And ye fathers, provoke not your children to wrath, but bring them up in the nurture and admonition of God, of the Lord. Fervent servants, be obedient to them that are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling and singleness of your heart, as unto Christ. Not with thy service as men pleasers, but as the servants of Christ, doing the will of God, from the heart, with good will, doing service as to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatsoever good thing any man doeth, the same shall he receive of the Lord, whether he be bound or free. And ye masters, do the same things unto them, forbearing threatening, knowing that your master also is in heaven, neither is there respect of persons with him. Now finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, Take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all to stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mysteries of the gospel, for which I am ambassador in bounds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak, but that ye also may know my affairs and how I do Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things, whom I have sent unto you for the same purpose, that ye might know our affairs and that he might comfort your hearts. Peace be to the brethren and love with faith from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them which love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. Philippians, another epistle of Paul, chapter 1. Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints in Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, grace be unto you, and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer of mine, for you all making requests with joy, for your fellowship in the gospel from the first day unto now, being confident of this very thing, that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, Inasmuch as both in my bounds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, ye are all partakers of my grace. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you all in the bowels of Jesus Christ. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in judgment, 
that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, unto the glory and praise of God. But I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather unto the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bounds in Christ are manifest in all the palace and in all other places. And many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bounds, are much more bold to speak the word without fear. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife, and, all, and some also of goodwill. Now the one preached Christ of contention, not sincerely, supposing to add affliction to my bounds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. What then, notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached, and I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and my hope that in nothing I shall be ashamed, but that with all boldness, as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be by life or by death. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is the fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I would not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and be with Christ, which is far better. Nevertheless, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you all for your furtherance and joy of faith, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me by coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ, that whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may hear of your affairs, that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind, striving together for the faith of the gospel, and nothing terrified by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. For unto you it is given in the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake, having the same confidence which ye saw in me, and now here to be in me. May the Lord add a blessing to you, the hearer and me, the reader of this precious and sacred word of God, 519, 20, I'll check that date. I want to say thank you for your continued support of the ministry for your donation of $20 every month to the Smurf Club to get these reads deposited into your phones. Uh, you send your, your monies to paypal.me forward slash Pamela Dobson. Now we have Cash App, dollar sign, Mama Pam 23. You can get the song, Encourage Yourself. My million dollar song, Pamela Dobson, Encourage Yourself, 99 cent at amazon.com. You can also get my book, A Family Affair. By Pam Poet on Amazon.com. I got all kinds of things going on, don't I? Now, here's a bunch of other things you can get. Uh, just peruse them and see what the little flyer here says. And if you want to support the ministry, you can do it in other ways besides just donating. We do broadcast across nine social media platforms. Yes, I said nine. To God be the glory. I want to say Jesus loves you. I love you. Be kind to somebody. Call them, send them a text, send them a card. Don't go outside, though, till this thing be passed. Remember, we live in faith and not fear. God bless.